بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we begin any anyway by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity for us to continue in our lessons and in adab in suluk al and also in muqaddimah al-gamiya and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah make in this gathering or this lesson any a reason where our sins and are forgiven, where our prayers and are answered. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly and bless us and with goodness in in dunya and akhirah. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. So, uh, inshallah, and we enter into our first book, that is the Adab and Isluq al And uh, in our last lesson, and we have entered and into chapter 7 and of the book, where Al-Imam Al-Habib Abdullah bin Alwi Al-Haddad speaks any about the importance of having khushu in prayers that is any basically to have any concentration any in concentration any in prayers so uh, i have covered any the first any paragraph in here what is mentioned so basically um, al imam al haddad speaks any about how any we should view any when we enter into the prayers that we are speaking any to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the king any of all kings any as what he mentioned the one any who created everything into existence the one any who make any everything happens and everything happens any by his power, by his will, and to feel any the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in reality. And this has a lot any to do any with Iman. A lot any to do any with faith any in in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah ta'ala any we begin any by praying any to Allah that uh, Allah any bless us any with uh, Iman and Taqwa and may Allah any bless any our hearts any with uh, remembrance any of him and make it easy any upon us any to have khushu and khudu in our prayers any amin ya rabbal alamin as the verse any in surah al mu'minun any mention qad aflaha al mu'minun alladhina hum fi salatihim khashi'un yani for vaguely the believers any they have attained success uh, they are the ones any who uh, have any concentration any in their concentration any in their prayers so having any concentration any is part and parcel any of the purpose any in life any that is to attain success any in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah any make it easy any upon make it easy any upon us. Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen. So inshallah and you will move on any to uh, the next any uh, paragraph where he quoted a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam any in this meaning. Um so any he mentioned just as one upon whom the the, the blessings of Allah and peace be upon him said that is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Prophet any mentioned إذا قام العبد إلى الصلاة. So this is any uh, an explanation about any the situation any when the servant any of Allah enters any into prayers. إذا قام العبد إلى الصلاة أقبل الله عليه بوجهه. Yani when a person any wants any to perform any prayers. And he is any in his efforts any to perform any of the prayers. Uh, the, then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned any metaphorically, Aqbal Allahu Alayhi bi wajihi. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala uh, Aqbal Alayhi any bi wajihi. Yani the word any wajah in the Arabic language literally any it means any face, but here yani it means uh, the essence any of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. So again uh, there is any a metaphorical meaning. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And he basically puts his attention any on This particular person So the expression yani, Aqbal alayh yani, Is to face him So uh, When yani, we speak any about For example yani, When you're speaking any to someone uh, you, you are speaking any to someone any, Who is facing you yani, It shows any then That particular person And he gives Eye contact and concentration any, To what any, you are saying so it shows any a level any of uh, a level any of uh, importance any that he puts in to understand any what you are what you are saying. So here uh, the Prophet also many mentioned any when a person whose intention is sincere to perform any prayers for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in the remembrance any of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala puts any attention any to him, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless him any with his mercy. So this is any basically any the meaning, the word any Aqbal Allahu alayhi bi wajhihi. Yani it is a metaphorical any statement as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani is facing him with himself. So of course any it has any to be it has any to be interpreted and what we can understand is that the importance any that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani gave any to this person any based any on his 
on his any intention. So for example, and you also have any the hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he mentioned the hadith of Qudsi, yani when a servant uh, remembers Allah, Allah will remember him, and when a person remembers Allah, Allah and he will remember him. Uh, we know any in the knowledge of Aqidah that ev- ev- everything is encompassed by the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah knows everything and that everything and that happens. Allah subhanahu wa taala knows any everyone and everything any of His creation. But what does it mean any when we say when a servant remembers Allah, Allah remember him? Yeah, any meaning Allah subhanahu wa taala puts any attention any to this particular person. Otherwise, any everything any is in the knowledge any of in the knowledge any of Allah subhanahu wa taala. فَإِذَا الْتَفَتَ إِلَى وَرَائِهِ يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى إِبْنُ آدَمْ إِلْتَفَتَ إِلَى مَنْ هُوَ خَيْرٌ لَهُ مِنِّي Then, uh, يعني, uh, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he mentioned فَإِذَا الْتَفَتَ يعني when a person يعني does, does any iltifat when a person any does does any iltifat any uh, what you call it any he sees uh, he sees any behind him this thing any about iltifat any for example any in fiqh we say it is makru. Any when a person any performs any prayer, it is makru. Any to do iltifat. Any basically in English, any we say any to look at uh, somewhere else. Uh, sometimes any when a person uh, goes any into prayer, any he looks any on the right side, any he looks any on the on the left side, any he looks any on on top or he looks any down. So this any iltifat uh, is makru. It's just like any when a person is speaking to you, you are not any paying attention to him. You are looking any right and you are looking left. So part any of the adab and etiquette any in prayers is any to abstain any from al iltifat. So here any the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam any mentioned any when a person any does any iltifat, uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala say, "O son any of Adam, he has what you call it does any this iltifat to something else that is better to him than me." Yani as though any we are giving any more importance any to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other, to the other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani he does any what you call it uh, iltifat he shows any that he got, doesn't have any concentration that he is uh, what you call it uh, engaging any in remembrance any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa in fa in iltafata thaniyata qala mithla dhalika fa in iltafata thalisata a'rad Allah anhu so when a person and he looks and he at somewhere, it can also any be interpreted any the mind thinks any of something else. This this any iltifat any of the mind. So we have any the physical form any of iltifat, that is any to sway from, and then any we have any the mind and iltifat any of the of the thoughts that you think of something else other than Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So here and when a person he does any iltifat, yani for the first time, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says then he gives any more importance any to something else other than me. Uh, something else any other than other than me that is he thinks that is better any for better any for him so when he does any for the second time any Allah mentioned any the same thing and then any when he does the third time a'radallahu anhu yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abstain away from him yani it shows any uh, in a way that the prayers any does not any gives benefit any to to him even though any he does any the prayers any physically because the essence and the soul any of our prayers any is in zikrullah as what any Allah mentioned in, in the Quran pertaining to Nabi Musa alayhi salam when Allah any gave to him any the revelations Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned aqimi salata li dhikri o Musa yeah, establish any the prayers any for my remembrance so our ulama any mentioned any that the that the soul any of our prayers any is is zikrullah so we can enter into prayer we can recite any the Quran and so on and so forth but when there is no concentration and no tadabbur and no understanding and no uh, remembrance any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our prayers any will not give any effect. Na'udhu billah min, na'udhu billah min dhalik. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah and increase us any in iman and taqwa and increase us any in khushu and khudu. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. So this basically any the translation. When the slave any stands any for prayer, Allah turns in his face any towards him. This is any a literal kind any of translation and it has any to be it has any to be uh, interpreted yani meaning any the essence any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and watch him with the slaves and he then looks any behind him then Allah the exalted says O son of Adam to whom you have turned towards that is better than I should the slave any turn away again Allah will say the same when he looks any away for the third time Allah turns away from and leaves him so this again any metaphorical meaning uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani Sway any away any from, sway away any from him, and he doesn't any give any any importance any to 
what any he is doing any in his prayer he shows any that the prayer any will not be accepted any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if this was the state any of the one who looks away physically causing Allah to turn away and leave him what would it be like for the one when praying yet whose heart is earlier any I mentioned uh, pertaining to iltifat we have any the physical and the spiritual the physical and the iltifat yeah, when you sway away and you look away uh, from the direction in your prayer uh, so by this any we understand that the Prophet also many mentioned any that this becomes any a reason that he will not any get any benefit any from his prayer Al Imam Al Haddad then speaks any about the spiritual aspect of, of iltifat that if that is the case any for the physical aspect any of a person any who turns his face away any from the direction of the prayer then what about yeah, need the turning away any of the hearts meaning not any remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is a hadith and an incident that happened during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, the Prophet and he saw any a person any while praying and he's looking on the right side looking on the left side uh, uh, touching in his beard and so on so the Prophet asked the Sahaba do you think any this person have khushu concentration in prayers then the Prophet and he mentioned that if your body and it does not is not any instill then any your heart and it will also any not any be in be instilled so it is important any in prayers that we have any to guard any our physical any movement and you do not any move any in prayers and do not uh, what you call it do things any that will uh, becomes any the reason any that you don't attain any, attain any concentration any in in prayers and it is uh, an indication any that the heart any is not the heart any is not present so that is why it is important any to uh, work any on our physical any movements any in prayers that is why in prayer for example one of the sunnahs and in prayer that when we perform any our prayers any that we look any at the place any of sujood the sunnah any that we look any at the place of sujood why any it is not encouraged any for us any to look any elsewhere because there will be distractions yani when you look any right side and you saw something for example you saw any a car any passing by and then it comes into your mind who can this be uh, you saw any a cat any walking any for example then you begin any to think and pass any experiences any you have any with cats you see for example any and your friend some your friend and is coming then you, your mind will think what uh, what are the what is any the the thing any that he has any in mind any to speak any to you for example after prayers uh, you look any on the left any you, you see any your food and then you'll be thinking uh, that you have not any had any your lunch or your dinner then you'll be doing any some planning any in your mind that after prayers any you, you might want to make it short any because then you're hungry and so on and so forth. So when 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 our when our eyes any is open any to things any in front of us, there will be many there will be many any distractions. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi taught us any how any to uh, control any our control our thoughts. But one hundred percent any control any of thoughts any stuff. Yeah, it's not any something that is easy. It requires any a lot any of practice any more than what we mentioned in this class then any he mentioned if this was the state any of one who looks physically causing Allah to turn away and leave him what would it be like for the one when praying yet whose heart is directed to the fortunes and ornaments any of this world and this is the reality any that we are living any today today we enter Allahu Akbar our mind and it's what some of the scholars any mentioned our mind roams any around the earth thinks any about the dunya thinks any about money and house and cars because any we have a lot of attachment any to this worldly life, uh, so it brings any towards when we enter into prayers any we bring any together any our thoughts any in, in the prayer. So this is any the tough thing any that I mentioned. How are we able any to detach any, the dunya from our hearts any not any from our hands, but any from any our, our hearts. Yani we do not we do not yani have the greatness any of the dunya in our hearts. Our hearts any are filled any only with the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is not any easy. It requires any, uh, what you call it, uh, a lot any of sacrifices and spiritual any nurture any in this regard. May Allah any make it easy any upon us. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. Allah the pure and exalted is He does not look at forms and appearances but at the hearts and its secrets. This is based on the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inna Allah la yamdugu ila suwaqikum. Allah does not look at your physical features. Walakin yamdugu ila khulubikum wa niyatikum. But Allah looks any at your hearts and your intentions. Uh, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas and khushu ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen So inshallah any for uh, our adab salutil mubid And we will stop here inshallah any next week We will enter any into the next part Before any we enter any into chapter 8 inshallah ta'ala